Show today. How Welcome are you, Bev? To the show. So I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you guys so much Excellent. for having me. I'm super excited for this opportunity. No, thank you for jumping on. And we're, we're doing something a little different because we came to you this time. We <laughs> actually did this for our friends at Makers Mark and the soccer clubs out here. While we're here is these amazing Makers Mark private selection barrels. Mm-hmm. Cheers okay. to Bev Cheers. for Cheers, coming Bev. on. Cheers. Absolutely. And Cheers. Join us on this very, very first one. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have two different bottles here. <laughs> That's right. Makers Mark Private Select. And the yeah. reason we have two different bottles here is because of the two head coaches of our local soccer teams, right? That's right. Yes. So they both pick their own barrel. Mm-hmm. And one of them is going to be Racing Louisville. And that proof is going to be 109.2. Mm. Jeez. <laughs> You didn't know what you were going to get into to, to, to this. And the other one, Louisville City, and this is 109.3. So back in February, you and Danny went to uh, yes. Makers, and uh, you were part of the private selection, yes. right? So, Chris, you want to tell us a little bit about the private selection there at Makers? Yeah. Market? So I guess first, I, did you ever get a chance to pick a barrel before? Um, a barrel whiskey, anything like that? No, never. This is the first no. time. First time. Oh. First time. I was learning all <laughs> about bourbon. I'm like, wait, what is all of this? And and, and honestly, like, uh, I, I don't think I've ever had a palate, if you will, okay. for bourbon. Um, now that I'm here, I understand it. That's I right. understand yeah. why people like it. Yes. Um, I think previously it was very confusing to me. Um, now after this experience um, and after living here, uh, I totally get it. So it's much very fun, good. Wasn't it? It's very good. Very so good. much fun. Very well, good. Makers has an incredible program that what they do is they take the regular Makers mm-hmm. Mark juice, um, and then we get to create by taking 10 different staves, a combination mm-hmm. of 10 different staves. Mm-hmm. So over a thousand different combinations mm-hmm. can happen. So no Makers barrel out there is ever the same. Mm-hmm. You take these bar- you take these staves, you will pick the kinds that you like from ta- tasting during, mm-hmm. the, during the whole selection mm-hmm. process, what like these different staves do to the whiskey over yes. that time period. Mm-hmm. Yes. You get to pick your staves. Yes. They go in there for nine weeks. Yes. All right. together. And yes. then we get these beautiful expressions. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what we thought it'd be fun is like, let's kind of compare the racing and the Louisville city yeah. together and see, just see what happens. You know, Love that. Who, who happens to do, who happens to do it better? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, well, I must admit during the process, they were, you know, when we were going through uh, the selection process, they were saying, you know, what are you tasting? Let take notes of it. And it's like chocolatey. And I'm thinking, I ain't tasting nothing. <laughs> and then sure enough, a, a, sure enough, a few sips in, I'm like, oh yeah, there's, there the, there's the dark chocolate note. I, got that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was because I was a few sips in and all of a sudden it came to light. But at first I was like, I have no idea what they're talking about. What'd you think about that first one? <laughs> I don't know whose it is. <laughs> I don't even know my own. I don't get it's it. It's all right. This so, is this is why we wanted this is again. why we wanted to do this. So there are five types of staves, right? So I'm you have conv- a baked American pure, which is American oak that adds brown sugar, vanilla, caramel, and spice. Okay. You have French cuvee, which that uh, is a French oak seared with infrared heat, toasty notes of oak and caramel. Mm-hmm. Right. Makers forty six. Uh, that's a French oak. That's dried fruit, vanilla mm-hmm. spice, mm-hmm. the French mondiant, milk chocolate nuts, mm-hmm. dried dark fruit, and then toasted French spice, which is smoke, uh, coumarin, and spice. Okay, so what are you picking up in there out of those? So I'll mm-hmm. tell you. I think you, the first one I sipped is mine. <laughs> possibility. I'm not telling hmm. you just yet. It's the beginning of the show, Bev. Okay, sorry. It's too early. But sure. I will tell you the staves that you picked in yours uh-huh. and the staves you went picked in Danny's. The staves that in your uh-huh. uh, bottle are in your barrel will be, you picked one baked American pure. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You picked four seared French cuvee. Ooh. Two Makers 46. Three of the roasted French Mondiant. And you didn't pick any toasted French spice. So want that yeah, smoke, no, huh? I wasn't having the spice. <laughs> so <laughs> I just wasn't. <laughs> Danny in his barrel, he did one of the American pure. Okay. Zero French cuvee. And that's when I did four of. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he did four of the Maker's forty-six. Okay. 
He did four of the French Mondiant. Okay. And then he added one toasted French spice. Wow. Oh. Okay. Impressive. So, hmm. Think about all those so we make sure that you're picking the right choice okay. here in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Just, just a thought. Just a thought. Da- Danny's going to be really happy when she's like, I like this one better. <laughs> 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 it's the link that they want that to happen. Oh, I didn't That's know hilarious. one of the spice. Oh, That's weird. Hilarious. You want to get into this next? Oh, yeah, we should get into the next pork. Hopefully. This yeah. one's Danny's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this one's Danny's, isn't it? Which I one? Would... Is that the second one that you just had? Yes. I don't know, but I would agree with you. It is. You're right. I'll go ahead. Yes. <laughs> I got the kick of spice yeah, I didn't job. want in yeah, there job, at the ice. end. Yeah, and it, his is uh-huh. good. It, it is good. Oh, <laughs> his is good. Did you hear that? Oh, cut. <laughs> Danny. Danny, that's, oh, that's if good. If you're going to quit, you're going to quit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You tell is that going to be your whole new you like... Uh, <laughs> yes, is it going to be... <laughs> See, but his... I, I don't know if it's the combination. I definitely feel more of the warmth down the oh, chest yeah. than mine. So why do, why does his mind not feel as warm down the... Oh, now, see, she's she's dissatisfied now with her pics. It's probably... <laughs> <laughs> Slightly Honestly, it's probably jealous. a little no, bit of his extra spice that he That's has. That's what I think. The one he gave out a one, huh? Yeah. And I put zero. There you go. He That's might fair. have a little bit extra spiciness to it. That's fair. Nice work, Danny. It is, it is good, yeah. It's decent. Um, when you do this, do they send you samples and say... They gave us a sample in the day. So they gave us a sample and then they closed uh, the barrel and then we got to sign our barrels, okay. which was kind of fun. Um, and then that's that. We had the sample at home. Um, my parents came into town and cracked into my sample bottle, so I never tried my sample bottle. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, this was so good. I'm like, what was it like? <laughs> I'll just try one when they come out, I guess. My parents love bourbon. Do you have a bottle of yours? Yes, I do. Okay. I, I do. Yes. Say, when sure we did that... the signing, I okay. uh, I have one. So it's just now when I, uh, when I crack into that. Now she's got to go buy a bottle of Danny's. Yeah, so, apparently oh, it's well, that's, very good. That's the best part of having people on the side. So uh, I, I would assume, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you picture a straight on pay- flavor profile. Yes. Um, right. Uh, and I do know Danny picked his based mm-hmm. off of some old um, drinking with his grandfather. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we're mm-hmm. bring back a lot of old uh, mm-hmm. times. That's kind of how he picked his first barrel when he did a Knob Creek barrel back in the day very for this program. Special. Uh, very special to him. Mm-hmm. It just reminds him of that. So, uh, you know, that, that's that's the great part about picking uh, whiskey. It's just whatever means a lot to you. Yes. Um, and Absolutely. just like you said, it, it tastes fantastic. That's right. It's very good. It's good. Absolutely very fantastic. good. 